guys, what is going on? It's John here for the final prediction video I'm going to do for the 2013 season. And it's the Western Conference playoff prediction video. I did one for the Eastern Conference. I got a lot of feedback. Uh, and I do agree with what you, all of you guys are saying. And the thing is, I made these predictions before the season started. And I didn't want to change them at all. Just because I didn't think that would be like fair I guess if I change them looking at how they each team has started so I mean don't like be like oh you're stupid uh I don't think this team's gonna make the playoffs or whatever because I made this at the start of the season so yeah so we'll get right into it Western Conference uh, we're gonna start the eighth seed and I have the defending champs the LA Kings slipping in as the eighth seed again just like last year except unfortunately I do not have the Kings winning this year guys uh, next year, the Anaheim Ducks, who I have uh, on the up, I believe they're going to rebound this year, and uh, I think the shortened season really helps. is going to help the Ducks. Um, just, I mean, Timo Solani had more time to rest. Corey Perry, Ryan Getzloff, will, like, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like they're going to turn it around because they're better players than they played like last year. And I just they have Bobby Ryan, Cam Fowler, and Lucas Spizza are a uh, year older, I just think they're going to slip into the playoffs. I don't have them, I have them losing in the first round, but haven't made the playoffs. Next is the Minnesota Wild and newly acquired Ryan Suter and Zach Parise. And, um, I mean, I think Nicholas Backstrom is good enough to get the job done for the Wild and get them into a playoff spot. I'm not sure how far they will get, but I, I mean, I, th I think they have a solid enough team to get to the playoffs. Next we have the Detroit Red Wings. And, um, of course, they've lost um, Nick Lindstrom and uh, Holmstrom, I believe. Both retired. Um, but I still think they have enough experience. They have Jimmy Howard in net. Of course, Pavel Datsuk and, and new captain Henrik Zetterberg. And um, I just, and Nicholas Cronwall, I think that they have a good enough team with enough experience to slip into the playoffs again at the five seed. Next seed, in the four seed, we have the Nashville Predators without uh, Ryan Suter, but they still have Pecorine and Shea Weber, and they, I mean, they just, they seem to find a way every year. They lose key players every single year, and they still seem to be the same, like, be so competitive. I mean, I, I mean, they've done a great job in Nashville. They build up a great fan base and everything, and I have them slipping in as the four seed again. Not slipping in, but just the four seed, because if you're the four seed, you're obviously not slipping in. Then we go to the division winners, and the number three seed I have is the Vancouver Canucks. And um, there's been goalie controversy with Corey Schneider and Roberto Luongo, but as you guys all know, there hasn't. It's been working out so far for Vancouver this year, as both they both seem to get along. They're both playing well. I mean. It's not a bad problem to have if you can afford both the goalies on your team and they don't hate each other and they they like playing with each other, I mean, and they're both playing well, like two number one goalies, like legitimate number ones, and you and you have that option every night, I mean, it's going to help out. So, and just the Canucks, you all know, I mean, Ryan Kessler is still hurt, but they just have a very deep team forward at the back, I mean. Everywhere, so I have the Canucks winning the division, but the third seed, second seed is Zen San Jose Sharks. I made a video pointing out that I believe I thought Joe Thornton was going to have a great year, and obviously he is off to a great start. As I believe he already has eleven assists. Yeah, I think he had eleven assists in like the first four games or something like that. He's cooled off along with Patrick Marlowe a little bit, but uh, Niemi, he's won a Stanley Cup before. Uh, I th I mean he has proven that he can do the job in the playoffs. And I, I just think the, the Sharks are, are going to have a good season this year. So I have them the number two seed and the number one seed, the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, well, you have Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, Patrick Sharp, Marion Hossa, who is back and healthy after getting knocked out and getting a concussion in the playoffs against the Coyotes from Rafi Torres last year. And at the back, you have Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook. Uh, in goal, you have Corey Crawford, which... Some people still speculate about if he's got enough in him to get the Blackhawks far, and you know I think he, I think he does. I think he's gone through and I think he's gone through a couple seasons now, and he's built up enough confidence and experience to 
the fact to the point where he believes that that is his team now. So I think he'll they'll we have a great regular season. So we'll get right into the brackets here. The first matchup is the number one seeded Blackhawks and the number eight seeding defending champions, the Los Angeles Kings. They met on opening night, and the Blackhawks looked spectacular in LA. And as I just said about the Blackhawks, I I think the Blackhawks are, would be an obvious choice for this matchup. Next is the Nashville Predators and the Detroit Red Wings. And these two teams always seem to always match up in the playoffs. I don't know why. It just seems to happen every year. But, uh, I I mean, I'm going to have to give this one to the Red Wings. I, I, I see them having a decent amount of success with Alvin Strom this year. Next is the San Jose Sharks and the Anaheim Ducks. Uh... And, like I said before, the Ducks the, are really going to benefit from the shortened season, but I think the Sharks are, this is, not this. I don't, I don't think this is the Sharks' year. I don't think they're going to win the Cup, but I think they'll get far, so I have the Sharks being the Ducks here. And the last first round matchup is the number three Canucks and the number six Wild. And, really, it's just, I mean, the Wild, they have some great pickups, and it's, I think, I think it's going to be a great achievement for them to actually make the playoffs, but I can't see them getting farther than the first round this season. In the next couple of seasons, you never know, but this season I have them losing the Canucks. The next round is the Chicago Blackhawks and the number five Red Wings. And um, this is where I think the Red Wings uh, will lose some steam because, I mean, they're a very solid team, but I don't see them... I can't if in a matchup against the Blackhawks, I cannot see them beating them four times. So I have the Blackhawks in that one, getting the Western Conference Finals, and then they will face the San Jose Sharks in a Western. I mean, the Sharks and the Canucks was a Western Conference Final rematch from two years ago when the Sharks lost to the Canucks off of a Bieksa overtime winning goal. I mean, that was a crazy. That was a crazy series let alone game. But um, I have the Sharks getting getting uh, through on this one. So I have the Blackhawks and the Sharks in the Western Conference Final. And this one I had to think long and hard on because I, I want to think that, I want to say that this is the Sharks' year to finally like have a great regular season and finally break through in the playoffs and make it to a Stanley Cup Final. But I, I look at the Chicago Blackhawks team and they're just, they're, they're too good right now. I mean, uh, I mean, Niemi has. I arguably Niemi is better than Crawford. I would probably say that at the moment, yes, Niemi is because he's, especially because he's won a cup. But at D, they look kind of even. But then up front, I mean, yeah, the Sharks have Marlowe and Thornton and Pavelski and Kocher and all those guys. But I mean, the the Blackhawks can roll out too, like. Extremely solid first lines. I mean, for like first two lines, but I don't know. I just I can't see the Blackhawks getting beat. So I have the Blackhawks rolling all the way through into the Stanley Cup Finals to play the Boston Bruins. And uh, fortunately, I'm gonna have to say that the Blackhawks are actually gonna win win it all this year. I mean, I I I I mean, I can't see I can't see anyone being able to like, go in and beat the Blackhawks four times in seven games. I just, I can't see it. So, but that is my Western Conference predict playoff prediction, guys. I hope you like it. If you did, please like it down below and leave a comment on what you think, like, how you think the Western Conference is going to uh, roll out this year. And leave a comment saying who you think will make it to the Santa Cup Finals from the Western Conference. Be It would be interesting to see what, uh, what you guys say, say uh, compared to what I have out here for you guys but that is it for now thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time we started from the bottom but we race into the top so we never ever sleep but got dreams of getting on getting times are looking hard but you know we'll never stop and we do it for the fans because these fans are all we got but we ain't in this alone we thankful for your help i'm rapping heavyweight and reaching for that